The aim of this problem uh, is to check if the given interconnection of ideal basic circuit elements satisfies the power check. In this figure, we have an interconnection of six ideal basic circuit elements. For each circuit element, the reference current direction and the reference polarity of the voltage is indicated. The values of the voltage drop across each element and the value of the current in each circuit element is given in this table. The main conceptual point in solving this example is being able to apply passive sign convention to calculate the power. So let's see how this is done. Let's first have a look at element A. We know that in general, the power is given by the product of the voltage and the current. Since we are doing this for element A, I have used subscript A in this expression. Now the main point is, do we have a plus sign here or a minus sign here? To do that, we apply the passive sign convention. So looking at element A, the reference current is entering the element at the terminal marked negative. So this means we have to use this formula with a minus sign. The next step is, after determining the a sign of the power expression, we just need to now substitute the values and then simplify. So this is minus, the voltage is 40, and the current is minus 4 milliamps. And if you simplify this, we get an answer which is 160 milliwatt. And because we had two minus signs here, this answer is positive. So this means element A is absorbing power. This is a consequence of the passive sign convention. Let's now repeat this process for all the other elements. So next look at element B. For element B, the power will be product of the voltage and the current. Now apply passive sign convention. The reference current in element B is entering the circuit element at the terminal marked positive. So that means the power expression is used with a positive sign. Now we just need to substitute the values. So the voltage is minus 24 and then the current is minus 4 milli and this gives an answer 96 milliwatt. Looking at this final answer, this is a positive value. So this means element B is also absorbing power. <clears throat> Looking at element C, the power is Vc times Ic. Applying the passive sign convention, the reference current in element C is entering the terminal marked negative. So we have a minus sign here. Next, substitute the values. So minus 16 and 4. 4 milli. And this gives an answer 64 milliwatt. So this means this element is also absorbing power. <clears throat> if you are watching this video, now is a good time to pause and try to do for the remaining elements and then check your answer by playing the video. <clears throat> Let's now look at element D. For element D, the power is product of voltage and current. The reference current in element D is entering the terminal marked negative. So we use the power formula with a negative sign. Next, substitute the values. So minus 80 and minus 1.5 milli. And we have three negative signs here. 
So when you simplify, the final answer is a negative value. And this negative value means this element is supplying power. Looking at element E, so the power is given by voltage and current. For element E, the reference current is entering the terminal marked plus. So we use the power formula with a plus sign. And then just substitute the values. So this is 40 and 2.5 milli. And this simplifies to 100 milliwatt. As this final answer is a positive value, this means element E is also absorbing power. For the final element, the power is given by VFIF. Looking at element F, the reference current is entering the terminal marked positive. So we use the power formula with a plus sign and then just substitute the values. So this gives us a negative answer, which is 300 milliwatt. So this means this element is also supplying power. Now we can sum the total power uh, being absorbed and the total power being supplied. So the total power being supplied in this interconnection is we have two elements. So element D and F. So that means the total power being supplied is minus 420 milliwatt. The total power being absorbed So there are four circuit elements, and if we add them, that's 160 milliwatt plus 96 milliwatt plus 64 milliwatt plus 100 milliwatt, and this equals 420 milliwatt. So we can see that this interconnection satisfies the power check because the power supplied is equal to the power absorbed. So the sum of the power supplied and the power absorbed is zero. So this interconnection of ideal basic circuit elements satisfies the power check.